logos, symbols that represent a company. So think about the golden arches of McDonald's. Strap lines, a short phrase that makes people think of a particular product. So think about Nike, just do it. An active image. Celebrity endorsement. If a celebrity who appeals to your target market is seen to use your product, it can encourage people to buy. Concept brands are often used by a charity or a political party to sell an idea to the public. So think about New Labour or Keep Britain Tidy. A commodity brand is a brand placed on a company or a product, creating a unique identity which differentiates your product from that of the competition. Now, there are some very important factors you have to consider. Race or nationality. Cultures and tastes can vary. Religion. Make sure you don't offend certain groups with your brand, with your advertising. Think also about the use of alcohol, certain foods and the way people dress. Children. Now be careful. Think about Alcopop. It looks like something that children could drink, but it's not. OK, so they've been criticised. Disabilities. Can your messages be seen clearly, for example, by people with poor eyesight? Environmental. So think about IKEA. They only use wood from a sustainable source. The stages of a promotional campaign. So in order, these are as follows. Number one, set promotional objectives. So think about raising awareness of your product. Remind, jog people's memory of your product, what you're offering. Differentiate, create a unique image for your brand to make you stand out. Persuade or inform or do both. Create market presence. Okay, people need to be aware that you are available, your product is available. Increase market share. Persuade people to buy your product. Number two, develop the most appropriate promotional mix. So think about, are you trying to create brand awareness? So maybe a national TV advert would be, would be the best way for you. Number three, justify the choice of promotional mix. So why are your chosen activities appropriate for your target market? Number four, design promotional activities. What message do you want to deliver? What is the purpose of your activities? Do you want to persuade or do you want to inform? What colours or images will fit your brand personality? A product portfolio. Most companies have a range of products. You don't want all your eggs in one basket because if one product fails, the whole company could fail. Now, you may also want your products at different stages of the product life cycle. The purpose of a marketing campaign is to position yourselves in the marketplace. You want to increase market share and become very recognizable. You want identifiable strap lines or slogans, logos and images. And ideally you want to become a household name. The slogan should say something about the product. So think about Red Bull gives you wings, okay? That Red Bull gives you energy, strength and vigor. A typical marketing plan will include things like your intended result, your desired outcome, specified activities, materials required, your key messaging. So what do you want to communicate? What points are you trying to get across? A call to action. So what we want the buyer to do. A follow up on those who respond and those who don't. Timing for each activity. An overall campaign budget and also a measure of success. So is it new clients? Is it new sales? The marketing message should convey the key message 
and be the core of your marketing campaign. So what message do you want to convey to your target audience? You need to attract attention within the first few seconds. Ideally, you want slogans to become everyday phrases. OK, so think about it does what it says on the tin by Ron Steele. How do you select an appropriate marketing mix? Let's take the example of a lawn turf supplier. So product. It's a type of grass. Is there a USP on the brand? Price. OK, let's say wholesale and retail charges and there are discounts offered for bulk buying. Promotion. Adverts. Samples in, in garden centres. Personal selling to landscape gardeners and to corporate clients, including local authorities. And a website, including testimonials and photos of your products. TV adverts at times of gardening programmes and also in season. Place. Delivery to retailers and wholesalers. Direct sales to consumers if this is permitted. People. A knowledgeable workforce who provide clear product information to all customers and a capacity of staff to meet any large demand, any spikes in demand there might, there might be. Physical environment. Storage of turf in optimal conditions. Process. Online ordering, free phone sales line and maybe an app. Selecting appropriate media. So knowledge about potential customers is crucial in determining how to effectively promote. So, for example, a TV advert for a children's product must be delivered when children are at home and not at school. Teenagers are most likely to be reached through social media. A local theatre could text previous customers or do leaflet drops around the city maybe in a surgery or some kind of information center. Budget. This must be agreed in advance and monitored very closely. Budget calculation should be based on the potential return on the investment. You need to be mindful of things that can only be sold in season. So think about a Christmas toy or an Easter egg. When these periods are over, the product may become unsellable or need to be sold at a very reduced price, which will reduce your profits and could even make you a loss. Timelines are very important. So the timeline for the entire marketing campaign must be set in advance for every activity. And sometimes you should have a milestone for each timeline with a success measure or a key performance indicator, a KPI. Timelines need to be flexible to allow for unexpected events such as bad weather. Evaluating a campaign. Evaluation should be ongoing in addition to a debrief when it's all over. So questions to ask. Was the main message conveyed clearly? Was the brand idea clear? Was the campaign well executed? Was the correct target market chosen? And did the campaign change people's perception of the market? Evaluating the marketing mix. Were the seven P's appropriate to the target market? Was the product right for that group? Was the price too high or too low? Did we get good numbers online? Could we have sold in a better place? Did our people provide useful and sufficient information? Could we improve our physical environment? And was it straightforward to purchase our products? Other things to consider. Did the marketing activity reinforce and support your brand value? Are the marketing activities sustainable? Are there changes in trends or fashions or tastes? Have any changes in the law affected what we can do moving forward? 
Was the campaign flexible to any internal or external changes? Are any of our staff soon to retire and need to be replaced? Will new staff need training? Was the marketing campaign relevant to the overall, overall goals of the organisation? Did it fit with our values, so for example our, our environmental policy? Was everything appropriate to the target market? And have all legal and ethical considerations been covered? Guys, thank you for listening. Please could you subscribe and like as it helps us to produce more and better videos like this in the future. Also, could you comment below what type of information you would like in the future as a guideline for us? Thank you again, guys, and see you all again soon.